Next up on WTV, Frisco ISD Foreign Arts Recognition, Young Life, and this week's edition of Trivia. WTV's Daily Update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, October 3rd, and I'm Karina Koroska with today's update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Recently, Frisco ISD Fine Arts Department was recognized at the state level. WTV Slachi Kuchu has a story. FISD has won the Texas Art Education Association District Distinction Award for the fourth year in a row. It's an honor that's awarded to only 5% of the state. FISD had to meet numerous standards, including enrolling schools into the VASE, Junior VASE, and Texas Elementary Art Meet Art programs. In addition, nearly 80% of FISD students are enrolled in fine arts. Art teacher Jem Matalich says the benefits of a great fine arts program will go beyond the program. Studies have proven that students that take fine arts classes uh, in middle school and high school usually do better uh, in their overall academic uh, life uh, in the school. So uh, it's definitely something we want to keep going uh, because it does improve students' life in other classes and just their uh, entire student um, experience. The honor will be awarded on November 10th at the TAEA Fall Conference General Assembly in McAllen. Reporting for WTV, I'm Sachi Kuchu. Now that school is back into the swing of things, Young Life is back with its weekly meetings. WTV's Reed Edwards takes a look at what this organization is all about. For some, it means to connect with friends with the same beliefs, and for others, it means to learn and expand their understanding of their religion. In middle school, it's wildlife, but in high school, it's Young Life. Transitioning from wildlife to young life has been a good experience for freshman Isaac Ortiz. The young life is like more fun, more fun, and I feel like it'd be more mature, and it would be our age group, and you can meet new people. And there's a lot of activities, and you can meet new people, and you can learn new stuff. Young life has also been a great experience for freshman Katie Meeks. It's um, fun to go with other people and be around other people who have the same like similar things like interests and going after school is just fun. I think it's going to be different because there's going to be different people and older people so there will be different questions. For students that may be interested in Young Life, the east side of Frisco holds its weekly meetings at Brookhaven Church every Monday at 737. Reporting for WTV, I'm Reed Edwards. On this week's edition of Trivia, WTV's Alex Chirino tests students' knowledge on volleyball. I'm Alex, back with today's episode of Trivia with Trevino. Today we'll be asking students about volleyball. How many points are in a volleyball game? 25. I think it was 25 or 26. Which one? 25. 25, all right. 25. Yeah. That's actually surprising. But... 10. 10. Wow. <laughs> what are the maximum amount of sets in a game? Come on. Three. 50, I'm going to say. Like 50? Six. Like 50, 49, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Five. Four? Four. No, two. Two? No, wait. Who is in the different color jersey? Opposing team? I think it's the person that sets, like the setter, you know? It's like the libero. Oh, the libero. And who does Liberty Volleyball play this week? Um, Heritage? Heritage? No. Memorial. Memorial? No. You used to play volleyball, right? Yeah. <laughs> Star, so I'm just going to take a guess and probably say they play Lone Star. Reporting for WTV, I'm Alex Chavino. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Are you interested in law competitions or participating in a live courtroom trial? Join Mock Trials or Mind by texting LIBMT22 to 81010 or by scanning the QR code below. Pink Out shirts are now on sale until October 6th for $20. Order at bit.ly slash 22 pinkout or scan the QR code below. The Pink Out game is October 20th. That's it for today's daily update. This is Karina Koroska for Wingspan TV.